Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations. In today's video, we're going to be diving back into some Cookie Run Kingdom and specifically taking a look at the brand new Pumpkin Pie Meta Comp that's going to be climbing up the charts in the overall arena this season. I'm going to be showing you guys the tips and the tricks for each individual cookie, why the team composition works, and not only that, why you should absolutely be building one. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen. So for the first composition we've got for you guys today, and arguably probably the most popular, um, because it's going to house the three most common, you know, cookies we see used in any arena composition. That's going to be obviously the pure vanilla, the sea fairy, and then also holly berry. Currently at the moment, all three of these literally are on almost every single arena team because you just can't argue with their utility. Um, the, for this team composition, though, we're going to be utilizing the brand new pumpkin pie cookie, and last but not least, using the brand new Twizzly gummy. All of these cookies work really, really well and synergize very well. And not only that, the only really good counter that I have seen to this is going to be a well-built speed meta comp. Um, just because the, the damage that is output on a, on a really quick, fast speed meta comp can literally instantly burst down this, this team. And then as soon as you start killing off somebody like Twizzly or Pumpkin Pie, well, then you're kind of just kind of just at a loss. I mean, there's not really anything else you can do. Um, however, outside of those really, really well-built teams and, you know, um, you know, narrow down in teams... Um, I think it absolutely shreds, especially when it comes to like the scam comps. I have literally obliterated so many scam comps um, running this team, and I'll show you guys why in a second. But to start us off here, let's go ahead and take a look at each individual cookie. So for Holly Berry, obviously, she's going to be a frontline tank. We are running a full solid almond set on her. As much damage resistance as you possibly can get, essentially. We're running basically 5% cooldown, nothing too crazy. We're almost breaking that 40% of uh, damage resistance on just substats alone to equal 39%. And then we're also going to be getting the additional 5%, which does officially push us over on um, that 40 percent but again guys as much damage resistance as possible we've got a little bit of additional attack here as well not really needed because she is a frontline tank but a hey, it helps and same thing goes for this crit resist when it comes to the overall arena the crit resist also helps especially going up against some of those burst teams hopefully she can survive and live live a little bit longer um to allow your team to do some more damage next up we've got that's gonna be my overall sea fairy my sea fairy is running a mixed set she is currently running two swift chocolates and three searing raspberries. Um, ideally, or where the magic um, percent that you want to get on cooldown for Sea Fairy is going to be above 11%. Anything above 11% is going to be what you want because you're looking for Sea Fairy to use her skill within four seconds of the match starting. That's what everybody is aiming for. If you do not meet that criteria, your Sea Fairy will not go first. The enemies will go first, and then hopefully you can still somehow win and survive it. But most of the time, you don't. You end up losing your damage dealers, and then you die. So Sea Fairy, 11%. Absolutely need that for cooldown. The rest of it can just be literally dumped into additional attack, crit, damage resistance to add to the survivability, crit resistance, whatever else you can build via your toppings, just build that. But your first thing you should try to hit is going to be that 11%. Already in the next up here, let's go ahead and jump in here and take a look at Twizzly Gummy. Um, So Twizzly Gummy for me, I am I'm currently running a full set of the Juicy Jelly Apples. So basically this full set is going to give me 5% additional on top of whatever I'm getting from substats. And you can see that I'm already getting 49.1% before the 5% really takes an effect here, and that's awesome. That's what we want. For, for Twizzly Gummy, we really, really want some additional crit percent as much as possible because we're trying to make sure that she is hitting crits almost every single attack. So obviously getting too closer to 100% is going to be really, really tough to do, really hone in on those additional substats for crit percent, but you, know, you are going to sacrifice some additional attack. Some people will argue that you could potentially run, you know, a mix set of the apple jellies and running searing raspberries just to add into the overall additional attack. You can absolutely do that, but just know that a lot of people are running somebody like Mala Sauce in the front line um, instead of running Hollyberry if you are going to sacrifice the overall topping sets, um, you know, from um, apple jellies to the searing raspberries for Twizzly. If you are going to do that, you are adding more attack, but you are dramatically reducing your amount of crit percent. And because of that, you're not hitting as many crits. And that goes really, really well with somebody like Twizzly Gummy's skill. So people will then swap out Holly, put in Mala Sauce, and then this will give you the additional crit percent that you need once Mala Sauce uses her skill. Now, it does take a little bit of finessing and takes a little bit of, you know, cooldown and, you know, really just honing in on the skills and each individual cookie. But once you do dial it in, this can absolutely work for you, too. But for today, we're going to be showing you guys the Hollyberry Cop, all right? So, again, that's going to be Twizzly Gummy. 
I'm going to be running a full crit set on Twizzly. Um, now, diving into Pumpkin Pie here. This is going to be the brand new cookie. I did a review all on Pumpkin Pie. Go check it out if you haven't checked it out. But essentially, Pumpkin Pie, we're also going to be looking to run a full set of Solid Almonds. Obviously, the more damage resistance that you can get on these overall topping um, pieces via the individual substats is going to be the better because you really, really, really want Pom Pom to stay alive as long as possible and to constantly be summoned as possible. So essentially, these toppings are nowhere near on what they need to be, but it's what I had. We have to make do with what we got. I got absolutely shafted on a ton of almond ones. If you didn't see that video, I literally broke down a ton of them in the video, but at the end of the day, we're going to be rocking 22.9% damage resist, 6% on the overall additional attack substat, 2% on the cooldown. We've got 6.6 .6 crit resistance, which, you know, isn't bad. Um, and then overall, we got some additional health here that ended up landing um, and some additional defense. Now, again, nothing too crazy here. Ideally, you want to do as much damage resistance as possible, as much attack as possible. And not only that, you want to do as much additional cooldown as possible because you want pumpkin pie literally um, to go as fast as you possibly can. Keep in mind, cooldown isn't going to be the number one set here for Pumpkin Pie. Some people might think differently just because of Licorice, who is going to be another summoner, and you do run a cooldown set on Licorice. The reason why we do not do that on Pumpkin Pie is because Pumpkin Pie's cooldown is actually really, really um, matched well with the overall skill because you're going to use and summon Pumpkin Pie or summon Pom Pom. Pom Pom is going to stay alive until that cooldown is literally ready to go anyways. So as soon as Pom Pom dies, you can instantly summon Pom Pom back. So again, not going to be too too stressed about the overall um, cooldown. Last but not least here, we, do gonna, we are going to house Pure Vanilla Cookie. Pure Vanilla Cookie once again needs those solid almonds, man. Additional damage resistance on overall Pure Vanilla is going to be what you are going to need in the top ranks of Arena. Some people argue you don't need to run a full set of solid almonds. You can do a mix set. However, you run what you fancy, in my opinion, and from my knowledge and my experience with the overall top ranks, if you do not have a pure vanilla built, guys, it's going to get sniped. It's going to die, whether it's going to be from a single target damage dealer like the, the three tank meta, which is going to be, um, what, Raspberry, I think, who does that. So whether it's going to be Raspberry that eventually takes them out, whether it's going to be a backline unit, whether you're going to get hit by a scam comp, if you are not running a solid almond set on your pure vanilla, he's going to die. So again, I argue against you know, I'm doing a mix set. I argue against just using a full solid almond set, really honing in on getting the additional damage resistance and those additional cooldown and everything else that you are looking for from a pure vanilla um, via substats. And that's what you really need to try to do. Alrighty, guys. So with that being said, the three treasures we're using, the scythe, jelly watch, and then also the pilgrim scroll. Pilgrim scroll for the additional attack, jelly watch for the individual cooldown. And then last but not least, we're going to have that scythe to add to the overall crit percent not only for Twizzly Gummy, but also for Sea Fury, so we can hopefully do as much damage as possible. Alrighty, so now officially diving in here, let's go ahead and jump in here and try to find somebody in the overall arena. Um, I don't have anybody too good. We've got our cooldown here. I've literally been searching for a couple different runs, but we're going to go and just run this one. It's a 625. They've got quite a bit more attack power than we do. The treasures are a little bit lacking um, in levels compared to what I currently have. Um, but with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and try it out. Let's see what our composition can do up against these guys. Um, I'll go ahead and pause it here too before we officially jump in here. So one thing that I want to show you is right here. We can't even see the entire enemy team and Pumpkin Pie is already ready to go. That is what you want. Remember, we're running a full solid almond set, not a cooldown set. So that's why you know that just the little bit of additional um, cooldown is really, really nice. All right. So again, like I said, Pumpkin Pie, how this team composition is going to work. Pumpkin Pie is going to go first. Pumpkin Pie is going to summon Pom Pom. Pom Pom is going to do a knock up ability for a couple of seconds on the enemy team. When enemies are knocked up, they cannot utilize their skills. Coming in clutch right after that is going to be Sea Fairy. Sea Fairy is going to come in, do an additional 3% stun, or 3 second stun, I should say. Very, very nice here as well. Prevents cookies from utilizing their skill. In the meantime, hopefully, they can get something off. They can get like a pure vanilla skill off or something automatically. Um, and with that being said, we've got Twizzly Gummy basically there to come in, clutch, and clean clean it up with stripping the individual shield that pure vanilla provides as long as it lines up with both of them. And then not only that, doing the additional crit percent damage, hopefully doing a ton of damage, um, you know, overall. Pon Pon also is going to reduce the amount of healing that enemy cookies receive from their pure vanilla just because of their basic skills. So again... Very, very good composition. Hollyberry, obviously, here to add in additional damage. It's a good frontline tank to mitigate some of that damage from our individual team. And just, you know, just there, obviously, like I said, um, to, you know, be the frontline tank. We've also got Pure Vanilla there to just add into our overall team survivability. Let's go ahead and play this one out and see. Pompon's going to be summoned first. 
knock up the enemy team for a couple of seconds. Sea Fairy's ready to go. Look at that half health almost gone. We've got Hollyberry with a push as well. We've got Twizzly Gummy here already coming in with the overall clutch. And now, as you can see here, Pure Vanilla went off, but the Pure Vanilla did not get their healing off as much as you would expect it to be because of Pon Pon and Twizzly Gummy. There we go, guys. That is going to be a successful run. As you saw, they had more attack power than us. Now, their composition wasn't really, you know, a super popular comp. They were running, you know, a weird, you know, Sorbet Expresso comp. But nevertheless, it definitely still counts here. So we've got the win off. Let's go ahead and dive out of here. Let's find another one if we can do it. Um... Let's try this one. This is a summoner comp. Again, a little, little, little bit weak here on the overall treasures. Um, let's dive in here and, and try our hand at this one here. Again, another very unique comp. As you can see here, Pumpkin Pie already ready to go. Knock up the enemy team. Sea Fairy here ready to, to scoop them. All right, there we go. Twizzly Gummy. Oof. We, they, we've almost got a clap on this one. Again, very interesting composition here. They were just running, you know, all summoners. So obviously keep that in mind. But we're going to go ahead and, and check it out again. Oh, Pumpkin. Or okay, so Pon Pon's back up again. Sea Fairy once again for the overall kill. We've got Twizzly there to clean up the house. Like I said, guys, it literally works the same. Once you get your rotation down um, with your individual toppings and your cooldown, you're really, really, really looking for that Sea Fairy 11%. As long as you can get that Sea Fairy 11%, let's see if we can clap this one. This is 667 um, attack power. Again, weak on the treasures, though, so we should be able to get them. But what I was saying was is, is you really need that 11% on Sea Fairy's skill to make sure that she goes in four seconds of the battle starting. Trust me, you're going to need that at the top ranks. Um, so they went ahead. They're doing a little bit more damage. Okay, so we got the pushback here. Twizzly Gummy to clean house. Um, all right, hopefully we can get another round off. All right, we got Pom Pom being summoned to get back again as well. Ooh, we got the stun off. Okay, so we're a little bit out of order um, against this team. It looks like their Sea Fairy is popping off their skill a little bit faster than ours. Um, but maybe, maybe we can still get the win because because we still have their sea, or their uh, Pure Vanilla Shield stripped. All right, 100% damage. Come on, Pom Pom. Here we go. Another summon knockup. Here we go. 11%. All right, Twizzly Gummy. Come on, clean it up. Clean it up. Boom. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. As you guys see, like I said, they work awesome together. The synergy is really, really good. Um, obviously, as much crit percent as you possibly can put on Twizzly is very nice. Oh, look at that. We advanced to Crystal 3. Let's go, dude. Very nice. Um, I really wanted to try to find a stun comp before we hop out of here. Um, a good stun comp, anyway. Okay, so we, I mean, we've got a decent one here. I mean, I don't know what they're all building, but they got the, they got the, um, the candy. They've got the a little bit lower level scroll than us, but and they do got a little bit less uh, attack power. Let's try it out, anyways. Let's see how it handles it. Here's what's gonna happen with stun comps. Pom Pom's gonna knock them up, throw the stun comp off. My Sea Fairy's gonna come in clutch, save them. Here we go. Stun up, Sea Fairy. Boom. Half their health completely gone. This is where the stun comp comes into play. Also, when you saw that health beater bar kind of like toggle a little bit, that's going to be Twizzly Gummy's skill combating Pure Vanilla's shield and healing. So again, this one's an obviously easy win. Like I said, guys, this one also works against the overall um, almond comp. So just keep that in mind. Very, very good. A good speed meta comp, though, like I said, is going to be the downfall, or at least I have, it's been the downfall for myself. Um, I, maybe it's maybe it's because I don't have the best toppings overall. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully that gives you guys a better understanding of the brand new composition that's going to be climbing its way up the arena ladder this season. Like I said, it's really just going to determine on all of your topping sets, your cooldowns, your substats, all of that stuff to really just hone in on getting, you know, the right rotation that you need for each individual battle. But like I said, guys, it works phenomenally. I absolutely like it. And not only that, it's a fun composition to build. I really, really like trying to hone in on Twizzly Gummy and really hopefully, um, you know, get her to bring it home in individual matches to do as much damage as possible. Once again, guys, don't forget about that 11% cooldown on Sea Fairy. It's absolutely needed in order to get her to pop off her skill within four seconds if you don't have it you're gonna get shredded by other teams no matter if they got the same composition or a counter composition it's not gonna matter they will shred you because their sea fairy will go first in four seconds but with that being said guys as always drop a comment down below let me know what your thoughts are if you have any additional questions i invite everybody to join the discord man the links provided down below in the description we've got literally over i think i checked what, last night, 4,400 or pretty close to 4,400 players over there. So absolutely jump in there. It's a fun, it's a good, it's a good community, man. We're looking to help out anybody and everybody that has any other questions. I see people asking all the time these questions via my live streams. 100%, join the Discord. Myself or somebody else will help you. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one.